I don't have a problem with them replacing with a similar single line, but I think we probably ought to put the language back in as far as skirting that they they do whatever's required for skirting. Um, I believe that there, there is one to go back with vinyl skirting. Yes. Um, we've run into situations where it's hard to brick or put some other type of, it's possible, but that's something that okay, the board my, can. My, my, my consideration there was, I didn't know whether staff or the county people wanted to try to leave that part in there and say, okay, you can bring the single wide back in, we'll, we'll give you the narrow instead of the 21, but we'd like you to do but if y'all are, if you're fine with the vinyl and all, then yes, I'm fine with the two. Okay. We, we were fine. All right. And Any other questions? I have one more question. When somebody's under a condition like this, and they're legal non-conforming because they got zoned that way, and now we've given them the variance, that variance goes to the property, so they don't ever have to come back again, should this house have a tree fall on it, then they can just put one there because we already one time gave them the variance. Is that correct? Variances normally go with the property. Yes. It so once we granted the variance to this piece of property, they don't have to do anything ever again should they need to change the house out. And, and you're following exactly what I was going to say. I mean, should the, should the motion be made that we will allow a single wide with final skirting? We're making an exception for the skirting type. And then, you know, if in the future, if that does happen, and then another motion we've got a variance which is an open-ended blanket variance that says pretty much we can do what we want to do with this property then then they not only have a vinyl skirt but they have a you know i don't know well, well I'm, I'm, I'm just thinking that you know we can okay so you have a single wide and it's a, let's see a, a 16 foot long mm -hmm. and, and they bring in that and, and something happens to it and then they say oh but i got this good deal and it's an old-fashioned kind sort of like that one that was there they bring an older fashioned kind because we gave them the variance. I mean, what does, what do we really, and, and you know, I still want people to not have to come here. I want our rules to be that we have the minimum number of cases. And we see this, we see this case a lot where the you know, house is too narrow. Part of the problem here, several, several years ago, the Zoning Board of Appeals used to have the power to grant special exceptions, but they specifically outlawed that. So we can't call it a special exception, it's got to remain a good. Well, well, that's fine. I just, you know, I want to make now, sure that I, I understand that this forever belongs to them and they're not a grandfather not conforming anymore. They've got the variance and they can have a skinny house forever. We can condition the board has that power to say this variance is good for this lot for this mobile home. Now how would we enforce it? I don't know. But you can put those teeth in there should you want to put those teeth in. They have to pull pull to pull a, a new mobile home in there, they have to pull a building from. New permit. So that's where it would come back up again. It's when they go to pull a new permit, they would check and say they used to have a variance, but now the variance has, has elapsed since it's a new mobile home. You can do with that. Because you're absolutely right, you know, in the case of we used to touch and sell the property to somebody and take the home with them, and the next person wants, they may want to put a 14 wide or 12 wide. To me, that comes full circle to what I was saying. I don't always articulate things good, but I mean, even with your question right now, based on what we're doing today, I mean, he could say, well, I told y'all that wasn't the one I was using, and he could come in there with a dang, you know, with a tool trailer and, and call it a house, and I mean, not literally. You can condition it on some vacation. We can condition We can put any condition we can you want in there as long as they are reasonable and legal. If you want to say he's got to have a minimum of X amount of width and a minimum of X amount of length, right? You can put 
if the table is wide open, you probably don't want to be in the year two that it can't be before 1990. You can put an age limit on it. Yeah. Age limit? Age limits are good. I'm looking at that like it's been put from this question and what he's looking at. The one I'll do is a late, that one was a 97. I mean, I know that was a bad feature, but the Fortune model was coming off and I was going to refurb it over But I mean, this, it'll be late 90s, early 2000 model for what I'm, what I'm trying to find. So I mean, I don't think about the 1970s mobile home. I mean, that's, I, I don't want to just. Well, you couldn't move it. You couldn't move anything on over the age of 1979 anyway, because nothing's coming. We used to have that model, but they, they was like, if it's good and strong enough. <laughs> 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 but that used to be the rule. Yes, sir. <laughs> if they put, and this is direct to Mr. Tuxton, if they put some kind of reasonable age limit and some kind of size, Limitations, do you have a problem with that? I don't so much have a problem with the age, it's just the size of it. You know, just depending on what the size limitations are. I mean, I can't answer that without knowing what, what size limitation. I mean, I'm looking at 16 foot wide, is what I'm going to put in there. 16 by 70 something, a three bedroom, two bath. Uh, so well, yeah, so if, if, if they were to, for instance, put in there minimum 14 wide, minimum 65 long, and I don't know what mobile home comes with. Something similar to what you know. Yeah, I would be fine with that. I, would I just, what, that. what I what I seem to be hearing is they they don't want something to come in there that's basically a camper. Right. <laughs> okay, any other questions, any other discussion? I get a motion on this request. Motion this first to approve according to the request requirements as we mentioned. No wider than no, no minimum 14 feet, maximum 15, 18. No, minimum. Minimum, minimum. 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 Minimum width. Minimum width, whatever you want. Maximum. Length. No, minimum, minimum length. Minimum and length. What's it, 70? No, we, we don't you know. 65 feet. The maximum you can get, I think, is about 70 foot in the mobile home. Yeah, I think I have 80 foot in the mobile home. You got 80s now? Okay. Minimum 65 feet. I have a motion on the floor from Dr. Howell to grant as requested with the stipulation minimum 14. That's for age. Is that right? What about for you? Will it be tied to this specific mobile home? This specific mobile home. Right. For the length of time the owner actually owns the mobile home. And the question was raised do you want to put an age limit? Or do you want to let it No. Okay, now motion on the floor from Dr. Howard. To grant as requested with stipulation one minimum 14 feet width, two minimum 65 foot length, three that the variance is for this mobile home on this lot. For this home. For this home. Do I get a second? I have a second from Mr. Orenstein. All in favor, please raise your hand. You're now on Mr. Tuxton's good luck with it. I hope everything works out for you. All right, thank you all very much. Okay, yeah. approval of the minutes. And Dr. Powell, I realized on the minutes that I watched the spelling of the last name. I have corrected that. Okay. All right. <laughs> thank you very much. And in case it's not in there, Please show the members absence from the September meeting. Dr. Howell had a medical problem. And I had already talked to the chairman ahead of time and been excused. Okay. That's true. I'll validate that. Any other changes, any other uh, additions, deletions, deletions to the minutes? 
Can I get a motion to accept the minutes? Motion to accept the minutes. I have motion to accept the minutes as presented, Dr. Halvel. I'm oh, sorry, with correction. With correction. By Dr. Halvel, second, please. Second. I have second, Mr. McCall. All in favor, raise your hand. Unanimous. Thank you very much. <coughs> okay, approval of 2015 ZBA ZBOA meeting schedule. Uh, first question, I did not see anything that was going to be a conflict with a long weekend. Did I miss something? Or I'm assuming y'all already took that into consideration. Labor Day is a little bit later. Right. Next year, can we kind of talk? Um, first Tuesday in September is actually the first. Labor Day is the 7th. Yep. So now, I looked at that one. I, I looked at the one and I said, wait a minute. Yeah. We had the same Okay, any problem, anybody got any problem with adopting this schedule at least for now? Tracy, where is July 4th? Uh, July 4th will be the Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. Sunday. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Either Friday or Saturday before the Tuesday meeting. Or proposed Tuesday meeting. Okay. I'm good with it. Can I get a motion to accept the proposed schedule? Um, Is that you, Yes. I have motion uh, before us to accept the schedule as presented. Second. Second, Mr. McCall. All in favor, raise your hand. Unanimous. Thank you very much. Uh, one point of business that is not on here that I think we need to attend to. I think this is the right meeting. We need to talk about a nomination for chair and vice chair for next year, nominations in November, elections in December, so that in January meeting we have somebody in charge. So, any discussions or nominations for chair and or vice chair? I have a finger up by Ms. Well, I'd like to make a motion for a vice chair. Okay. I don't think it matters as long as we get both of them at some point in this meeting before we vote. <laughs> That'd be a good one. Uh, are there any other nominations, or do I get a, do I need a, I mean, do I hear a motion to close the nomination? Close the nomination? I have a motion. Well, first off, nominated Alan Strickland for chair, Richard Porterman, vice chair for calendar 2015 year. Motion was made by Dr. Halvo and seconded by Nancy. Now Paul, I thought you made the motion to close. Did you? I second, I seconded. That's right. Alvarado seconded that motion and then had to call for any additional nominations. There was no response. And Mr. Alvarado made a motion to close nominations. So we have Vote to close nominations. All raise a hand. Nominations closed. We're in trouble again. <laughs> okay. You do such a good job, y'all. <laughs> I mean, Thank you for don't, that. Please don't be absent. Well, <laughs> I, I, I greatly apologize for missing the October meeting, and I could have been, I guess, the one who made the quorum, but. I was in Atlanta preparing for surgery with my wife, I and mean, it just wasn't going to happen. Just so y'all know, because somebody will be leaving us next week, yes. 
we have two folks who have applied for his to, to fill his his term on the board. Um, the council will consider those at their Thursday meeting this week. We had a Thompson Gooding and a Street Applier up for consideration for study. So, say again. Thompson Gooding, Gooding and Katrina Clark. Tom Gooding? No, it's his son. His son. His son. His son. His son. What's his son do? Thompson Gooding. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, he's. Uh, I like him from the standpoint that he's no branch of construction knowledge. We need somebody with construction knowledge. What's the other guy got to do? Next up, just so y'all know, our next person who has a term that is coming due is learned. Her expiration date is May 8th of next year. May 8th of 15th. Okay. Well, I about plugging it into the schedule probably no later in March. And let's touch base and see where she stands. Does she want to reapply? Or, and that would, that would go a long way to trying to figure out who else might apply this way. Okay. Any other old business? Any other new business? Any other other business according to Mr. Orstein? Thank you very much for the time that you gave us. Yes. Scotty, when, you, when when you uh, uh you gonna serve you said? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it to the last minute. You you go you gonna put your <laughs> Carmela, bring some bubbly next time. <laughs>